John E. Six here with Russell Crab Radio and on the other end of the tin can and string is the Al E Shidi to my Steve Godon Berg Mr. Blade Braxton. I'm a stupid moron with an ugly face and big butt and my butt smells and I like to kiss my own butt. Happy fucking anniversary. <laughs> Mama already wishing us a happy 200th episode. Not Sixth only anniversary. Is it the, it's a, it's a one two it punch. The... Oh. WrestleCrap Radio. How you doing that damn? Ah, uh, Angry Jim. Calling to, con- con to celebrate with us, I see. Fuck you. Now what do you want to talk about? I'm angry. I was... I was just sons of bitches would fire me from this show. Just you... like that son of a bitch, Johnny Age. Remember how I called him Johnny Age? It is interesting that... I, you know, I've always thought you were just a bit paranoid. Angry uh-huh. Jim. Wait. But, but Wait now... Minute. But now, because... I mean, this was years ago. You talked about John Laurinaitis. Apparently, you 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 thought you saw him in your neighborhood or something. I thought I I thought I smelled him in my wife's vagina. To be honest with you. Oh damn! <laughs> but you were talking about you were talking about John Laurinaitis, you know, and you were paranoid about him, and that was that was literally years ago. And now oh, he's been fucking my wife. And now he shows up on on actual WWE television with you. Of course he does. Mm-hmm. He wants to make my life miserable. I I apparently so. He like, done, I, he's done it. He's done it long enough in the shadow. Now he's got the balls to kind of do it in public. He's he's. Well, guess what? The last laughs on me, son of a bitch. Cause I don't even want to work there anyway. That's why I fake palsy. That's why I fake Jim, heart attacks. Jim. That's why. I, fuck yourself. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck this show, let me tell you something. Trust me, I know all about things coming to an end. Oh, that's that. See my wife and my relationship. See my restaurant. Oh, yeah. Yeah. See my oral sex skills. What? What? Jim. (laughs) I got time for this shit. Mm. Go fuck yourself. Jim. Jim? It is amazing that... I mean, what was it, like three, four years ago, whatever, that that he first started bringing up about John Laurinaitis? Oh, yeah. On this show! No, and now I agree. it's a storyline on WWE television. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm. WrestleCrap Radio. Yes, hello, Mr. Radio. This is John Thomas from Chase Meridian Master Charge. I was wondering, is the lady of the house or man of the house at home? Preferably the man. Is, is there something? Like is there some reason that you're calling us, Mr. Thomas? John Thomas's interest in Mr. Breakstown has only compounded over the years. <sighs> well, yeah. mm-hmm. uh, well th- thanks a lot for for calling, John. Uh, uh. Uh, die, die in a fire, please. <laughs> <laughs> Always jolly. Always jolly. All right. Everything's running smooth now. Maybe we can get on with this show. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, maybe. 
WrestleGrap Radio. Oh, wow. Man, oh, man. All right, now. Thank you very much. You guys are a beautiful audience. It's great to be on the program on the WrestleCrap Radio, and I'm so happy to be here for this. I was calling to congratulate myself for being the longest-running WrestleCrap TNA correspondent. Thank you very much. Longest running in the history of all time. Oh, my God. Yeah, actually, Deal, I think he's right. Considering we haven't done a show in like four months, he broke the record. I'm like a bad case of the crabs you get down there in Memphis, Tennessee from a ring rat. I stick around forever. Thank you very much. Oh, that's why oh, yeah, I recommend only blowjobs from uh, ring rats in Memphis. Especially considering them, none of them got no teeth. They're a lot nice and gummy. <laughs> Dave Meltzer not talking about gummy uh, ring rats on, from Memphis on Observer Radio. How, how's the colonel been lately? Oh, the colonels, I got Peggy Lou beside me, the colonel's in my lap. We're coming to your town in my beat-up old Cadillac. Thank you very much. I don't want to know about the colonel being in your lap. He's right here. The colonel's a little small. I can fit him just about anywhere. Oh, 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 wrong. Mama. Down, down, down. You tell Mama to come on down and I'll sing her my brand new song, That's All Right, Honky Tonk Mailman Mama. <laughs> awesome. Well, Honky Tonk Mailman, you have uh, obliterated the TNA correspondent record. I don't I'm think the anyone... longest running TNA correspondent of all time. Honky talk mail man, honky talk mail man. I'm cool, I'm cocky, I'm bringing you mail. <laughs> uh, well, there he, there he goes, driving, there he goes. Down, driving down the street. Leading away in the pink Cadillac. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm very bothered that he said he has, he said he had Peggy Lou beside him and the colonel in his lap. Oh. Maybe, maybe we're in for a treat now. I wonder if this will be a treat. Uh, WrestleGrap Radio. I don't know this is a treat. Wow. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, fellas, it's uh, me, Gay Popeye, and uh, I got a new website. Oh, no. You just go to Popeye.com. 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 Yes, I, yeah. I see it. It's it's on my screen, yes. All right. Uh, is it on your screen yet? I'm seeing something that says Popeye is coming. Well, probably will be later. Get, 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 get. get out uh, of here, gay Popeye. Well. Oh. We are never going to get the rest of this show done. WrestleCrap Radio. Oh, wow. yeah. All right. Dave. I I just have to ask, are you are you glad to be calling back into WrestleCrap Radio? Yes, I am. That's what I thought. David Lee Roth, everyone. Wow. Oh. WrestleCrap Radio. Oh. Oh. Oh my God! It's Corporal Fagsher actually on the show. Oh, this is great. I. Corporal, I have to assume you're calling to congratulate us on this being show 200. Uh, yeah. It's not. He says it's not. That's not why he's calling to congratulate us. Oh, boy. Maybe maybe he's calling to thank us for all those extra hits his video got on YouTube when we uh, when we discovered him. Hello? Hello? 
Corporal? I think I think he took off. Oh boy. By spinning his wheels behind him. That was that was something. <laughs> yep. And I'm sure this won't be good times. Ugh. Wrestle Crap Radio. I may oh, stand boy. corrected. <laughs> it's my crack addicted ventriloquist dummy. The one and the only. This is great. This is great. This can turn the show around. I'm sure he's calling for the right reason. It's stubby. Hey, our dear Blade, how are you doing? Uh, we're doing great. Well, uh, oh, let me tell you something. I just flew in from a ghetto in Kansas City, and boy, are my arms tired. From jerking people off because they don't have any money from royalty checks from you guys because you haven't done a show in forever. <laughs> Oh, stubby. Oh, boy. I just want to say thank you, guys. Uh, and for everybody, for everybody on the old forum who, uh, who uh, wrote in and started uh, complaints about me being a TNA correspondent, uh, I hope you die in a fire. Fuck yourself. Stop me! Stop me! Wow, everyone, everyone's like. WrestleCrap Radio. I am the Street Edge Shitter BM Punk. And you're also gone. Goodbye! That wasn't very nice. WrestleCrap Radio. <laughs> And, uh, I just want to say, uh, happy anniversary, worship the devil. He's, <laughs> he's always very there courteous, you know, whenever he is on the show. There you, know, I, you wouldn't think that he would be, My being God. the devil and all. Oh, goodness. Whoa. I'm uh, calling to celebrate me and Ellie's engagement. Engagement? That's right. Uh... Oh, look at that! Way to go! Congratulations! <laughs> I, I, learned, I learned about boosting from Don Dobby. That's what I'm talking about! Wow. Take yes, away this whole thing. I'm getting mobbed! Oh, Brian! Uh, we knew you could do it! Congratulations! Uh, you did it! Well... Oh, boy. Yep. Yeah. WrestleCrap Radio. Radio Mode. A $25 gift. I've been there. Fellers. Are you, know, you there, RJ? Brad? I'm, real, I'm really glad I'm Medicaid right now. Have you ever noticed? That's my, that's my Andy Rooney impersonation. Oh, boy. He doesn't, he doesn't have a manly voice such as my own. Well, he's gone now. He's gone from 60 minutes, and I think it's, it's time for old Mac Check to get in there. And I think we all know, fellas. Think of my check, it's the 60 Minute Man here on the Whacker. How yeah. rude! Oh, you hurt me, Randy! I think Nathaniel hey. actually put me in the hospital at one point. That's, you people are sick. <laughs>